Coach Trisha here. I just want to spend a few minutes today talking about our groceries. Um, hopefully you've been following along and getting some good tips about healthy eating. Um, but one thing I'm seeing a lot um, online is um, the price of groceries. Obviously it's a big expense and when you're wanting to buy quality things it can be very expensive. And I see a lot of people um, posting about low grocery bills, which of course, if your grocery bill is really low for certain reasons, that is awesome. But some people post that their grocery bill is low and when you see what they bought, it's low for a reason because the food quality is quite poor. So I just want to inspire you to take a quicker look at your grocery bills and think about how to lower them, not because you're sacrificing quality, or buying a lot of junk, um, but your bill is low because of smart shopping tips, for example. And so there's a big movement around getting everyone to cook more at home instead of eating out so much, which is great because you can control your own ingredients and save a lot of money. But just remember that when you buy stuff at the store and cook at home, you can still be making something filled with junk. Okay, and so cooking at home doesn't automatically equal healthy. So you really do have to turn over your packages and look at the ingredients, um, especially for your staples. If you, you know every week you're buying bread and milk and peanut butter and cereal and crackers, pasta, tomato sauce, whatever you're buying, um, just go ahead and invest the time to understand what ingredients goes into those products. And you know, even if it's only 10 minutes and you're just looking up one item that you buy, if there's an ingredient on the list, you're, you don't know what that is, go ahead and look it up and see what it is. You might realize you're actually not comfortable ingesting that or having your family ingest it. Or maybe you just didn't quite realize that there were some risks to eating those certain things. No judgment. I was there myself um, about 10 years ago. I was clueless. I had absolutely no idea. And so I get it. I really do. And the only thing that turned me around was having a child with um, some health issues that weren't getting resolved. And so I just had to really empower myself with information and start learning for myself. And it was just very eye opening. And so my passion now is to pass that along to you and inspire you to start thinking a little bit differently about what's going in and on your body. So I absolutely understand if you're working within a strict budget for your grocery purchases. Um, and you can do things like utilizing coupons. Um, you can also um, be really vigilant about shopping sales. So when something's on sale, you can grab it. If that's just if it's something you know you're going to use, and then you can either put it away or freeze it. So if there's a great sale on chicken or you know beef or something like that, you can grab it because those things are very pricey. Grab them and stick them in your freezer or your extra freezer if you have one um, so that you can um, be eating those good foods at a lower price. Um, also for things you buy a lot of, just invest a little time to understand the prices at different stores so that you know when you're shopping at this certain store, these are the things you always buy there because you know they have the best price. Or um, you know, you're not gonna memorize what the prices of every item you buy are gonna be, that's pretty tough. But there's certain things, you, you buy a lot of it, you buy it regularly, get to know the prices so that if it does go on sale or if you're somewhere and you you look at it, you'll know, is, is this a really good price? And don't just assume. I have found things at Whole Foods that were cheaper than um, finding them at a conventional grocery store at Target, which, you know, we always kind of assume everything at Whole Foods is more expensive. It's actually not the case. Sometimes it's less expensive. Um, and so just, you know, obviously it's ideal to have, just go to one place and go shopping, but Think of your grocery shopping as an investment in your health because the foods you eat has such a huge impact on how you feel and your long-term wellness and for your whole family. So, you know, you might have to go to say it's Trader Joe's on Mondays, Whole Foods on Thursdays and Costco on Sundays or something like that. Um, but you can do it in a way that saves you money and allows you to eat healthy on a budget. Um, and so there's certain things I just really strongly encourage you to think about not skimping on. And the biggest thing is animal products. And so conventional beef, conventional chicken and turkey, and anything that comes from animals, eggs, milk, cheese, these are products that can be loaded with hormones and antibiotics. 
And so if you cannot, if, if you feel you cannot afford to eat grass fed beef and uh, free range chicken or buy the free range eggs, um, you might consider really minimizing the animal products you're consuming. Um, because you don't want to be consuming a lot of those things and getting a lot of hormones and antibiotics. Um, this can lead to things like uh, early puberty in kids. Um, and I wish I was over dramatizing it. I'm, I'm really not. Um, there's, there's so many hormones in our foods now. So um, be really careful about animal products. And if you have to prioritize something, I would prioritize there. And if you just can, can literally cannot, um, then I would minimize and just eat small amounts of those things. But it's truly worth the extra money if you can, you know, move money over from like, you know, not eating out quite as much and move that into your grocery budget. Um, or think about other things that you can do to kind of make it work because you will reap so many benefits. Um, and I bet you'll even just feel the difference. Um, you know, other things like produce, you can look at the Environmental Working Group's Dirty Dozen list, and they'll tell you which ones are most affected by pesticides, and those are the most important ones to buy organic, and then there's other ones that's not so important, so you don't have to spend the extra money and get the organic, and so they update that list every single year, so you can um, look that up on your phone and take a screenshot and so always have it available, um, or just put it in the notes section of your phone or print it out keep a little list in your wallet, whatever works for you. Um, but if you do shop at just the traditional grocery stores, even if you have to one day just give yourself an extra half an hour when you're walking around and turn the labels over and look, you're gonna find a ton of processed soy. Uh, you're gonna find a lot of artificial preservatives, colors, flavors, sugars. Um, this is all stuff that if you learn about it, you might really consider that you don't want to be consuming it. So if you want more resources for learning about this type of stuff, um, one resource is draxe.com. His articles are easy to read, um, and he has information on a ton of different subjects. You can type in the search bar or just browse around his website. Um, Wellness Mama is a great website, um, and there's a lot of different uh, books out there. So if you go to your local bookstore, um, you can uh, go to the health section and there's so many good choices. There's no, no uh, lack of good information. So, you know, knowledge is power. You're the only one that's in charge of your health and, you, and your family's health. You know, other people um, aren't living in your body and living your life. It has to be up to you. So I hope that this inspires you to uh, make an investment in yourself and take it upon yourself to just pay a little bit closer attention to things you're putting in and on your body. Um, if you want to connect more with me, you can find me on Facebook. Um, my page is called Trisha Sheehan Dash Wellness Warriors, T R I C I A S H E E H A N. Um, or you're welcome to join my Facebook group, which is called Empowered and Healthy Community. Um, we talk a lot about essential oils in that group. Um, and we also talk about finding the root cause of your health challenges and addressing the root cause rather than band aiding things. Um, so if that uh, resonates with you, I hope that you will join us.